Hey guys, and welcome to episode 3 of season 4 of the FIFA 16 Barcelona career mode series. In the previous episode, we brought Neymar back to Barcelona. Yes, but Neymar is back home at Barcelona. We're going to start off today's episode by going for Denis Suarez. This man has signed for Barcelona in real life, so we're going to, look, going to look to bring him in from Villarreal, the, obviously the other Spanish club. We have a transfer offer from Napoli for Mark Bartra that I am just going to reject. £15 million pound bid. Uh, Villarreal did accept my transfer offer on the first go. It was £14.5 million pound for Denis Suarez. We're going to offer him £110,000 per week, and you can see that his salary at the moment is only £45,000, so this man is actually asking for a huge increase from what he is on at the moment. But yes, Denis Suarez has signed for Barcelona like he has in real life and he's another signing during this transfer window. During this transfer window we've already signed Tillemans, Hakim Manstua, also uh, Kingsley Coman and now Denis Suarez and I feel like this transfer window we've brought in very very good players that are going to give our team depth from what already we have. We have such a great lineup, and I really feel like these, you can say, top-up players are really going to do well uh, for us in this fourth season. If you did miss the previous episode, there will be a link in the description because, actually, in the previous episode, we had two cup finals. Did we go on to win two pieces of silverware in the previous episode? You're going to have to go and check that out if you did miss it. Digne was another player. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. The left-back from PSG has signed for Barcelona in real life. And yet again, we're going for those real life signings in today's video. PSG actually declined the first offer for Digne, as I am going to offer him another offer of 8.5 million pounds. His value is at 10 million pounds. And you can see PSG have accepted that. We're now doing the contract. Important first team player, 60,000 per week. And hopefully that is enough to bring in the left back here to Barcelona. Important first team player, like I did say. And let's hope that we can sign him because he would be a good backup left back for David Alaba. And yes, he has signed for the club. And that is already our second signing for this episode. We're going quick in with those signings. And you can see we're going to be taking a look at his stats. I really feel like we've got a very, very good team here. The likes of Lacazette is 91 rated. Suarez 92 rated. And Neymar 92 rated. We just have all... All across the from the first team to the substitutes to the reserves we just got a stellar squad and I want to keep this squad the way it is so that is why for any other team that will be coming in for trend offers for my players the likes of Newcastle 40.5 million pounds what an offer that is for Pjanic his value is only 31 million pounds but I just go out and flat out reject it like I did say I feel like I've got a team that is going to be good enough to go on and win Almost every single piece of silverware that is the aim for this fourth and final season of the Barcelona Cremade transfer deadline day has ended and this is my squad. So this is what I wanted to do for you guys. You can take a look at my strongest starting 11 after this transfer window. We take a look from the back. David De Gea, David Alba, Mark Bartra, Gerard Pique, Hector Bellerin in the midfield. Pogba, Pjanic, Iniesta up on top. Yes, we've got the newly returned Neymar alongside Luis Suarez and Messi on the substitutes to Steigen, Tillemans. Laporte, Goetze, Lilovic, uh, Lacazette, Umtiti, also in the reserves, Sergi Sampa, Otamendi, Munier, Sanchez, who will most likely will be starting most of the games, even though he is on the reserves, Digne, Denis Suarez, Kingsley Coman, Hakim Anstua. It is an unbelievable Barcelona team, and I feel like I've built the dream team. That is the dream team right there, and let's hope to see how this team actually plays. Yes, they might be good in their overalls, but if the team doesn't play well, well, really, we're not going to go on and do much in this fourth season. So the first La Liga game of the season is against Sevilla. Let's hope that we can pick up our first win of the La Liga season. Get off to the perfect start in our La Liga season by picking up this game against Sevilla away. Ray Patricio, who, who, who has just signed for Sevilla, uh, the Portuguese goalkeeper, will be starting in goals for themselves. And obviously, Denis Suarez making his debut for the club. You can see this is the Sevilla lineup. Correa will be starting as the striker. And also, uh, Sevilla actually have Mario Balotelli as a substitute. So Balotelli will actually be subbed on during the second half of this game. As we take a look at my Barcelona side, I wanted to try and start the strongest starting eleven while trying to make a few changes. Denis Suarez will be starting this game. Like I did say, he'll be making his debut. Tillemans also will be coming to the side for Pogba. He'll be rested for this game. So is Umtiti. You can see I'm changing up the lineup a bit here because we do have another La Liga game coming in today's episode. 
the first highlight did fall in the 13th minute. Dennis Suarez does receive the ball. He plays it to Messi, who is inside the penalty area. He plays it outside to Hector Bellerin, who comes in with the cross. Deflection off one of the severe defenders, and the ball did fall to, I think it was Tillemans there. Deflection off the goalkeeper, but it went into the back of the net. We take a 1-0 advantage, and yes, it was Tillemans there. We take a 1-0 advantage against Sevilla. Not long after that, in the 37th minute, still in the first half, Neymar gets taken down, and this is a great chance for us to make it 2-0 here in the 38th minute and give ourselves a 2-0 advantage going to half time and hopefully we've done enough from these first 30 minutes to go on and win this game and pick up the first three points of this La Liga season. It's going to be Luis Suarez up against Raul Patricio in goals for Sevilla. Luis Suarez is actually going to go to the left here. Let's hope they can put that one into the back of the net. Yes, he can. It's 2 new on the 40th minute. He went to the left. Keeper went to the right. Suarez picks up the goal. And we now take a 2 nil advantage in this game against Sevilla in the first game of the La Liga season. In the 52nd minute, Pjanic does well to skip around the defenders. He plays a wide to Neymar. Looking for his first goal since returning from Barcelona. Cuts inside, takes the shot. Deflection actually came off the hand of the goalkeeper. It hit the post. It went out for a corner and Neymar almost making it 3-0. Could you imagine if we took a 3-0 advantage, say, at the end of the game, a 3-0 win? As you can see, Balotelli did get subbed on in the 36, 63rd minute, sorry. And Sevilla did have a chance on goal and not even putting that one on target, not even close to the target. Is he really going to do anything for themselves? And then the 70th, 77th minute, during the second half, getting into the later stages, Sevilla have a chance on goal from Mario Balotelli Italian, his shot is not even going to hit the target. It's actually going to hit the side netting and scores are going to remain at 2 0. Sevilla, yet again, have another chance. And you can see Sevilla having a few chances on goal. If they at least put one of those chances away, they could have really been into this game, make a 2 1, maybe get a late goal. But the game is contained in a 2 0 win to ourselves. Tillemans and Luis Suarez picking up the goals to pick up our first win of the La Liga season. The first win of the season. It's a 2 0 win against Sevilla, and we are sitting first in the La Liga. Obviously early stages, only after one game, but it's good to see we've already taken the first position. We're heading into the second game of this La Liga campaign. This game is against Celta Vigo. And in the next uh, episode, episode four of this final season of the Barcelona Crewmen, we'll be heading into the Champions League group stages. And obviously, to end off season three, we did lift up the Champions League trophy. So we've got, we're looking to go back to back Champions League winners. This is my Barcelona side for this game. Pogba Iniesta is back into the side for this game. Neymar, Suarez, Messi, David Alba, Marc Bartra, Pique, Hector Bellerin. It's pretty much my strongest starting 11 for the first home game of this league season. You can see the Celta Vigo lineup, not really a very strong lineup for themselves. They're actually starting a 4-3-3 formation. Iago Aspas will be starting in the striker position. As we're heading into this game against Celta Vigo, after a 2-0 win against Sevilla, we, we, we should go on and win this game against Sevilla. In the 16th minute, Sevilla looking to get on the attack, looking to pick up their first goal of this season. You can see they get around Pogba, their shot, and Dav De Gea does pull off a save there to make sure that this game does remain at nil nil. In the 21st minute, Celta Vigo on the attack, they take a shot to Hale with the save. And yet again, Celta Vigo having all the early chances in this game in the first half. But to kick off the second half, Neymar with the interception here. Neymar's going to be making his way onto goal. 1-1 one -one with the goalkeeper as there was a bit of pressure from the opposition defenders. And his shot is going to be a save from the Celta Vigo goalkeeper. 63rd minute Celta Vigo yet again on the attack. And they were playing quite well during this game. And yet again, that's another goal scoring opportunity for Celta Vigo. Only to be denied yet again by the man who is on form at the moment. And that man is Dav De Gea. In the 68th minute, Pjanic making his one to go with a one-on-one with the goalkeeper. Saved from the goalkeeper. Ball falls out to Paul Pogba. Header to Luis Suarez. Suarez with the shot. His initial shot was actually a deflection of the defender. It fell back to him. He took a shot. And the keeper pulls off a save. That was a good chance chance for us to put ourselves one in the lead as in the 82nd minute header was actually saved from the Celta Vigo goalkeeper but we were gifted a chance right at the end of the game PK got taken down inside the penalty area and you can see there wasn't really too much in that there wasn't really too much in that but we are going to be having this penalty a 1-1 against the Celta Vigo goalkeeper and this is our chance to pick ourselves a 1-0 win and pick up our second win of this league season and Luis Suarez is going to step up to the plate. Can Luis Suarez tuck away two penalties in today's episode? No he's not, he's actually going to miss that one and because of that this game is going to end in a 0-0 draw 
against Celta Vigo. It's a nil-nil draw in the second La Liga game of the season. The second league game of the season does end in a nil-nil draw to Celta Vigo. So not the best ways to end off today's episode, but like I did say, Champions League does begin in the next episode. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like rating, drop a comment down below, subscribe also if you are new to my channel, and I'll see you all on my next video.